Hey dude, can you please help me with my ollies? I've been practicing for two hours. For me, my ollies look not too bad, but when I try to jump over stuff, I fail. Please help, please. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do my best to help you out here. So let's check this out. Pop, jump, booyah. Yeah, your ollies are not too bad at all. That's actually quite good. The one thing we could work on is pushing your front foot out a little more just to level out your ollies in the air. As you saw, my ollies are really bad compared to your ollies. Now I will try to jump over a stick. Okay, cool. So adding in the next actual factor of alling over something, it definitely adds a bit of difficulty to it. Um, you did make it over it on the second try. You also made it over there. You just didn't land it. And yeah, so adding in the stick actually just makes it so you need to ride a bit faster. This is very interesting, actually. Watch your front pop up, and your board is fully in the air right at this point but you just land with your wheels just right before that stick and then you drag the stick along behind you. Now let's watch this one. This is the one where you make it. So your timing is better here because your wheels just popped up right before the stick and you have enough speed so that your board is in the air. Now watch this. It's going to carry your back wheels just over it. So you nick the stick just a little bit. But really, with the height of your ollie, you're alling high enough to make it over the stick. It's just a point of timing of exactly when you start to pop the board, and then you have to have enough speed to carry your back wheels over it. So the timing is important. Also, the speed factor is very important. So if you take a little bit more speed, that will help you get over it faster. Now, the other thing that I was mentioning in terms of just your ollies is... Practice this step right here, just dragging your foot up. You're getting into the air and that's fine. You're getting that lift, which is great. But after you drag your foot up, you want to push your foot out in front of you. And by pushing it out in front of you, that's going to level your board out in the air. So it just goes more level and doesn't stay there, but it goes more level like right there. So that's the where you want it, so it's perfectly level, and that will also help to get your back wheels over whatever object you're trying to ollie over. In terms of getting the timing correct, make sure you're watching, you have your eyes on the object the whole time. And then you want to pop your board as close to that object as you can, so that the amount of speed you have will carry your whole board over it. Cool, so I think that'll help you out a lot. You're actually doing great. I love the fact that you put a stick down and that you're trying to ollie over it. That is perfect. You're using the gradients and that's awesome. For any of you guys learning the basics of skateboarding, get Skateboarding Made Simple. It's awesome, it's super detailed. It covers every single trick from ollie, front side 180, back side 180, pop shove it, front side shove it, heel flip and kick flip. And then there's volume two and three and four as well. So click that red annotation and get the videos today. Thanks for your help.